is it going everyone? Today we have the Vans Dime Mid School to look at. They didn't have them in my size, had to go a half size down, and I thought maybe I could fit in them, but no dice. So, can't skate in them, but at least we get to check them out today. Now, I've never owned a mid school shoe or a Style 37 as it was originally called, which made me wonder when was it originally released? The Old School or Style 36 was released in 1977 and the Skate High or Style 38 was released in 1978. Going by this van's 50th anniversary release that's named 79, I'm going to deduce it was 1979, but this ad was estimated 1977, so I don't really know. Do you know? You tell me. Anyhow, the mid school has a long history and I'm not going to get into all the technicalities of the Style 37's different transformations or name associations over time. I'll leave a link to a Pillow Heat article if you want to read more about that. That 50th anniversary release mentions Tony Alva and I know he really liked the shoe and skated in it, but I'm not sure if he had a say in its design. I say that because he had a voice in designing the Era or Style 95 by adding a heel counter and collar padding to the authentic, aka the Style 44. Let it be known that they don't release as many of the mid-school models as they do the skate mids, but thanks to Montreal-based Dime brand, we got this one right here. Speaking of Canada, if you guys get a chance to go skate Toronto and Montreal, do it. Great people, great spots. Rest in peace, Justin Bokma. Back to the shoe, I always say I'm not a white shoe guy with some exceptions. They are supposed to release some other colorways, but this is the one I could get, so that white it is. Or off-white, as the label says. You get a special yellow box with that dime branding on top with the I know graphic on the front. Now the traditional releases of this shoe feature the same canvas and suede construction of the old school, but this release features a nylon upper, which is a good look, I'm a fan, check my Nike Vandal Supreme review, but an interesting choice for a skate shoe, no doubt. Grip tape V nylon, grip tape wins, I mean, grip tape always wins, but this is a early first round KO. Actually I don't even know because I don't even have my size so I can't skate in them. But in all seriousness, it could be comparable to canvas since they used a decent weight fabric. But I can't really speak on the durability since, you know, again, I couldn't get my size. You get that traditional suede toe cap, heel counter, and eye stays. The gusseted nylon tongue matches the upper, and that's topped with some unique Vans dime branding on the label. Around back, you get that dime logo sitting on a purple synthetic heel tab and yellow off the wall heel brand mark. This release is part of Vans' new Skate Classics collection, built specifically for skating. And that includes the Volk midsole wrap that features higher sidewalls for increased durability protection and deeper neural texture on the toe bumpers. This shoe is Duracap branded, so you get those extra rubber layers under the high wear areas. You get that clear rubber outsole here with that dime branding. And this sole has deeper tread depth that lasts longer and extends the life of the shoe. The collar is well padded and the internal heel and collar lining is synthetic. The removable insole is a nice pop cush energy return footbed that's supposed to keep those legs feeling fresh. This definitely feels more responsive and hopefully it'll last longer, feel better and be more comfortable over the life of the shoe. Now if you are curious in how these stack up in height to other Vans mids, will I have a skate mid here and an old TNT model we can look at? And as you can see, the mid-school is definitely higher. I can't exactly tell you if these are true to size, but I'm sure they have the regular Vans fit, and I always order true to size in Vans, so I'm sure you do too, don't you? So that's about it for the Dime Vans mid-school. Later. Later.